Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for July 17th through to the 23rd. Aries, let's take a look and see what's on the cards. Oh, I love this Aries. The answers we need are coming. You know, I'm a fellow Aries as well. Um, this can be clarity. This can be insight. This could be an answer you've waited from, a verdict, a ruling in your favor. Um, it could come through a conversation with the full moon and Gemini energy and the full moon energy, you know, completes the picture. It brings things to climax, brings things to a conclusion. So it feels like we're going to get some kind of insight here, Aries, that's going to help us maybe uh, end a cycle, maybe move on from something. Let's see what else we've got. I've got just the major arcana here, Aries, and I'll see which one you are working with. Oh, I've got the strength card. Okay, Leo energy coming through. Now, it feels like we are needing some strength and courage here, okay? Maybe to follow a call of the heart. Leo is very much around that heart energy. Um, and it's funny because when we are wanting to make a move, even though we might be excited about it, often the fears or the insecurities can arise. And the message with this card is that if we can coax that under control, that inner beast, then we can hear the higher self and we can um, feel and, and perceive the direction okay so maybe the answers that you need are also you know partially they're already also within you all right Aries let's get the cards out now I've been having a bit of a rant this week and some of you may have already watched my videos from last night and that is that I recently took one week off guys one week uh, I take a week off usually only once a year I have done it uh, over Christmas time and then just last uh, two weeks ago and before that I posted less content because I was burnt out from a huge festival that I took part of. Anyway, YouTube has responded to me posting less and taking a week off by completely shutting down my reach by about 80%. Yeah, that's pretty much how it feels, Five of Pentacles. And, um, and of course that with that the income and everything but that's my point's not the money it's it's the fact that it's so unsustainable to build something like this if you take a week off when you have to completely rebuild and the rebuild build phase guys can be um, from my uh, experience one or two months and financially no one can survive that if you're doing this full-time like me so please do like share and comment because I don't know if you you know Aries but reach is completely determined on YouTube by engagement. So people just sit quietly and watch, but they don't engage. That's just basically not, not helping this content stay, you know, stay up here. And if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And that, I just really appreciate that. All right, Aries, let's get back to your reading. I'm getting these cards out. Oh, how nice. Six of cups in the outcome. And I, I mean, I see a certain amount of this in the, in the reading here, Aries, where you know, we're trying to move past the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is when we do feel lack, loss or, or scarcity. So maybe you're worried. Oh, look at that. And you've got the polar opposite clarifying it, the empress. Like there is a genuine fear here about losing money, about losing stability or a home or an asset or an investment, or maybe you've already gone through a loss. And if so, I'm very sorry to hear that Aries, you know, know that I'm on this journey with you, but it's funny how the Empress often comes through in your reading. And I think this is your natural state of being, Aries. You know, you're the Emperor in the Major Arcana and the Empress often shows up as the feminine counterpart to that. The Empress says, look, you, you're actually made and built for abundance, Aries, but you're going through either the fear of loss or you've gone through a loss and maybe you can't understand it. But the Empress says you can recover from this. You can get that growth back, okay? The Empress is an incredible energy when it comes to money and abundance. She is growth, like beyond your wildest dreams growth. Now the answers you need are coming and it feels like, you know, you're going to get some kind of insight or some kind of communication that is going to allow you to move back into the abundance zone. King of Swords, that's the insight right there. Now, Aquarius energy, I got Sagittarius with the Temperance energy. Now this is the challenge position, Aries. And you know, Temperance talks about patience. It talks about timing and aligning of the right conditions in order to move forward, King of Swords, okay, in order to transform your situation. So we've got you feeling like there's not enough or you've gone through a loss. 
Now, Spirit is saying, with Temperance being in the challenge position, that it's not quite the right time and you'll need to be patient and tread water for a little bit longer, but that it's coming, that the shift is coming. Okay. Now, the King of Swords is asking you to see the bigger picture, and that's one of the, the messages here of the, of the Five of Pentacles. That you can see how these people are definitely in a state of lack or loss, but they're actually passing the church passing the Hierophant here, and if they uh, had their eyes, you know, peeled here, they could see that and maybe go in there for the night and get what they need, but they're so consumed by this loss and this lack and the misery that comes with it, and they're on that downward spiral, that they, they don't see the opportunities that are right in front of them. So Aries, Spirit is saying, make sure that you see the big picture and see that this is just a moment that you are going through, and it feels like with some patience, a little bit of treading water, and some strategic moves, you can move towards the Empress. And the Empress is also about, you know, moving towards a greater dream here as well. So there could be something here that, you know, that can help you. Like it can be an entrepreneurial activity here with the Empress that can help you move forward when it comes to your abundance. The King of Swords is also saying that sometimes we need to be innovative and inventive and see things from different angles and move differently to how we are in order to get out of these kind of funks, right? You know, where can you be more strategic? Do you have a laser vision on all of your ingoings and outgoings? Because it feels like you can tighten some of that up, Aries. Now the advice is the Three of Pentacles. And this is a real building and planning energy here. Let's get the clarifier, and we've got the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy again, so you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. The Three of Pentacles also talks about the, the right people, the right tools, the right education, you know, the right advice, and we've got the Knight of Wands here. So there might be, you know, the answers you need are coming, someone who gives you some kind of advice that helps you start building immediately, and then move forward swiftly, Knight of Wands, to your next frontier and the Knight of Wands also talks about new territory, new solutions. So I feel like there's something here that can help you that maybe you haven't considered, okay? And it could be, well, I need help from others or I need to invite help. I need to uh, collaborate with others because Temperance and, and this next to each other are saying to me that there's uh, maybe an ingredient, whether it's an asset, a resource, a person, um, or some knowledge that's yet to come in that is going to be what gets things moving and growing. And it's interesting that the Six of Cups is in the outcome because that does talk about, you know, friendship and connection and maybe somebody like from your past or somebody that you already know that helps you out, that lends a hand, okay? But ultimately, the Six of Cups outside of that meaning is growth, is emotional happiness, you know, is getting back to being able to like literally smell the ro the roses because we are out of the survival, the survival feeling here, the fight or flight. And I've clarified that with the lovers, and that's Gemini energy. Now, outside of the fact that this could be that you're getting help from a, a soul friend, soul family, or partner. The lovers is about things coming into balance. Notice the number six energy repeated here. It's about perfect balance, perfect harmony. So I feel like there's some insight, some help, a resource, an asset coming in that's going to be the perfect balance that you need to get back on the road to abundance. The lovers is also about choices, choices around matters of the heart. Coming back to the king of swords, I think there might be some decisions that you're needing to make. There might be things that you need to let go of that are, you know, that are taking your financial resources or costing you too much and you're being asked to have the strength and courage to not only see that but take the action in alignment and I think if you you know take this approach and king of swords like see with laser vision and see the big picture and you know make sure that you are looking at things from a future perspective not just fighting fires in the meantime um, that you really can get into the three of pentacles energy which is I'm laying the foundation for the future. And once you have that right, I think everything is going to build from there. The Empress is with you, Aries, and she says, you can get back to abundance. Let's make this happen. 
So Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below to my website and check those out. And do come across to Instagram for daily readings. I'm loving it over there. I'm getting a bit more traction and love on that platform. So that's where I'm putting my energy. Um, and also don't forget to like, share, comment or subscribe on your way out. I'd appreciate it. Wishing you all the love and magic. Bye for now.